Bloodborne is a game that has been around for about 10 years now, and Sony has done nothing with that IP since they made the game. We've had the PS4 and the PS5, and they're talking about the PS6, yeah, there has been nothing at all for us poor Bloodborne fans out there. I remember playing Bloodborne about five years ago or so, and we spent at least a month all together. I still haven't beaten the game, but I have most definitely explored every inch of it just before Amygdala, probably. And to have that emulated on the PC, you can, you can't put a number on it, like, it's a retro game that just has not been touched that inspired so many other different genres of video games yet there was no bloodborne 2 there was no uh there's not even like a spin-off of some kind of bloodborne at all it's just bare bones this is what it was and for some people that might be okay but others want a little more and the little more that they're asking for is just a little emulation Recently, the community has taken it upon themselves to emulate Bloodborne onto the PC. Even though Sony has not touched the IP in a long time, the community is touching the IP. And they're touching it, they're touching it as hard as they can right now. In just the last two months, Bloodborne uh, emulate. In just the last two months, Bloodborne emulation for PC has come a very long way and i'm just going to show you an article about it so this is the article right here i can't believe how far bloodborne emulation has come in just the last two months i've been reading up about this for also the last two months and i've been very excited for how far it's come along the last time that i checked up on it the emulation was to a point where only the audio was like an issue you cannot currently play Bloodborne on your PC without a lot of pain in the ass setup. Even if you do spend hours just to get the game to run like I have, it'll become clear very quick quickly that PS4 emulation still has a very long way to go. If you judge by YouTube video titles and clips you see on social media, you might get the impression that in the last few weeks Bloodborne has now been emulated so effectively you can have a good time playing it on PC. There are plenty of videos out there that aren't intentionally misleading, but there are also ones with descriptions like, this is totally not for algorithm, we're now running Bloodborne on, in 60 FPS, PC, PC, blah, blah. The process currently involves more hoops than a hula convention. Jailbreaking a PS4, ripping a copy of Bloodborne, dumping PS4 firmware files, Updating Bloodborne to 1.09, patching the update Bloodborne executable with Lance McDonald's 60 frames per second patch. And I don't think that's a joke, that's probably actually his name. Probably installing Microsoft Visual Studio to have C++ development files necessary to install the above patch. Downloading cheats and patches via the emulator, watching it crash over and over wondering if you need a different build a different computer or a different hobby oh so it looks like you just get to right here and then everything crashes and the audio isn't working no 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 no. i read something i read something about being able to get to the final boss no problem for now it's only achievable with a lot of patience and the right cocktail of patches and modifications which is so much more impressive than I expected to see since July. Based on its current trajectory, at least somewhat playable Bloodborne emulation is shaping up to be a hell of a Christmas present. A Christmas present? So I was under the impression that you could get to the final boss. I didn't know that you could do it without a million crashes as well. But that's just what you get, I guess. It's not magic or anything. I don't know how to emulate. I don't pay anybody to emulate at all. I thought it was going to be a lot sooner than that. But what do you know? You can still do it right now. It's just going to be a bitch and a half to deal with all those crashes and none of the audio working whatsoever. This is the article that confused me. This is the misleading stuff that the other guy was talking about. That had me way too excited for this. 
PC gamers can now play Bloodborne on the Steam Deck. It only took about 10 years, but PC gamers can finally enjoy from software's PS4 masterpiece Bloodborne on their system of choice. This is a lie. <laughs> enjoy is not the right word. This is a lie. While the game was originally not functioning properly on the emulator, many enthusiasts have fixed most of its problems and are now playing it with most, if not all, of its features intact. Yeah, vo it says voice lines aren't audible, and that's it. That's all he's saying is a problem. The emulator's progress has reached the point where even mods are starting to become available. Nexus Mods now lists various Bloodborne PC mods that alter the experience, including improved texture packs, visual tweaks, and even UI icons for the Xbox controller. That's basically everything there is to know about Bloodborne for a PC right now. It is playable. There are mods available or being made for it right now, but it is not currently enjoyable. <laughs>